trademark this phrase. So it's called embracing their reality. Embracing somebody's reality means that we live in their world no matter where it is. This gets pretty hard for a lot of people. But let's make an example. We have two shapes. Over here, we have a resident, client, family member, whoever, who's 95 years old. Um, you know, her, her, her parents have passed away, right? And she, she, lives, she lives here, right? She lives in senior living. That's our reality. In her reality, I'm just making this up by the way. In her reality, she's 53. Um, you know, her parents are aging, but they're still around. And um, she's, she's going to work every day. Now what often happens is that people get a little stressed about what reality we're gonna pick, right? What we wanna do is we wanna find a way to go to her reality. And then people will say to me, but Rachel, I feel like I'm lying. I tell people, take the word lying and throw it away. When we're working in dementia care, what we're gonna do is do the truth of their reality. So you're not making anything up, you're not lying, you're not doing an untruth or whatever, white lie nonsense. Get the whole word lying, just get it out of there. Get, put it away over there. Instead, we're gonna do what's true for the person living with dementia. Our truth, not really that important anymore because you know if you've argued with somebody living with dementia, it doesn't go very well, right? You don't convince them and you just end up going around and around and around on, um, you know, on, on the wheel and nobody gets anywhere with it and then everybody's upset and we gained nothing. Much easier to go to somebody else's world. This is also true when somebody's having a delusion or a hallucination. Everybody with dementia has delusions. Delusions are fixed false ideas, fixed false ideas. So everybody with dementia will say things that aren't true. Not because they're making it up and they feel like messing with you, but because that's what their brain is doing. The brain is giving them pieces of information that don't really make sense in our reality, and they're putting them together. Hallucinations are less common, but are more common in things like Lewy body diseases. Hallucinations are when we're seeing or hearing, smelling, tasting, feeling something that's not there. So if I'm talking to this person over here in the corner, um, that would be a hallucination. However, me saying to you something like, uh, oh, I spoke to my grandmother yesterday, that may be a delusion because she has passed and you can't tell whether or not that's true. But if I'm over here talking to grandma and grandma's not standing there, that's a hallucination, if that makes sense. So no matter if someone's hallucinating or they're delusional, we still, want to embrace the reality. 